Hello, this is Pop Culture Guy. Today is a review of the newest addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Doctor Strange. The 14th film so far in the franchise, this film shows that the MCU has no sign of slowing down. You're a man looking at the world through a keyhole. You've spent your life trying to widen it. Your work saved the lives of thousands. What if I told you that reality is one of many? I don't believe in fairy tales about chakras or energy or the power of belief. You wonder what I see in your future? Possibility. The film is incredible to watch. It's fun. It's amazing. Benedict Cumberbatch starts as the Sorcerer Supreme as we watch him go from a very egotistical doctor to a powerful man willing to help and save people, not for money or for fame, but because it's what's right. The film adds magic to the MCU, whereas before anything that was considered magic was just considered very advanced technology that some people confused for magic. Just like the comics by Steve Duco and Stan Lee, the film has incredible visuals and it fits with what is going on in the film. Visuals are on par with the comic that it is based on. The way they use magic, the way they bend the whole world, the other dimensions they travel through. There are some drawbacks, however. One of them being the comedy, it can be not well done at times, you know, kind of like there are very big dramatic moments. There's only a big comedic moment that just felt unnecessary, but still. The other times, it works very well, just like with the other Marvel movies. And Mass Mickelson as a villain, I think works really well. I mean, as usual, the motivation is a bit vague, but the way he plays it, it's so intimidating and scary. And what happens in this film makes me wonder how they can ever top what will happen in the future with the MCU. I'm sure they'll find a way to top it, as they've had before, but it's going to be tough and hard to do. And truthfully, I feel even though it's a really awesome film, it felt short, mostly because of Stranger's training. It just, I mean, I get it, it was established that he has a really good memory, and that's how he got to be a good doctor. But I felt, I felt like there should have been more. And of course, Shioto Age of Four was a great Baron Mordo. Starting out as Strange's ally, and then at the end, becoming one of his well-known enemies. Scott Derrickson, the director who is mostly known for doing horror films, does a magnificent job. Especially since Doctor Strange is known for having a lot of horror elements in it, due to dealing with a lot of magical forces such as Dormammu, which the scene with him and Strange, I don't want to give away what happened, but it was genius. But of course there's the controversy of Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One. As in the comics, it's supposed to be an old Tibetan man, but that's not what Tilda Swinton is. And yes, it could, it could have been because of China and the whole Tibetan thing, but at least they explain it, that she's not the only Ancient One, that there's a long line of them, and she was not the first. But like I said, Doctor Strange is a fun ride, definitely rewatchable, again and again and again. The visuals are astounding, and can remind some of Inception, except that it's actually real and happening, unlike in Inception, where it was all in the dream. A lot of the fight scenes themselves are just... And there are no words to describe them. It is your choice to watch. But for me, I give Doctor Strange a 100% and place it at number 
two of the films that I've seen this year so far. Die protecting this world, Mr. Doctor. Mr. Doctor, it's strange. Maybe. Who am I to judge? Thank you for joining me. And now I have to prepare for the apocalypse now that Donald Trump has become president. Bye.